Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. Iraq's economic transformation is both a fascinating and complex subject that continues to captivate investors and analysts alike. The country's progress, especially regarding the Iraqi dinar and its potential reinstatement to its former global standing, is a hot topic in investment circles. For those seeking to understand the latest developments, opinions, and insights from top experts like Dinagarus, it's essential to dive deep into the multifaceted reform efforts currently underway. These reforms are poised to reshape the financial landscape of Iraq, with significant implications for both the domestic economy and foreign investments. For those looking for the most up-to-date information on these reforms, a key point of interest is the ongoing efforts to stabilize and boost the dinar's value on a sustainable level, reflecting Iraq's true economic potential. At the core of these efforts is the process of reinstatement and the broader financial reforms, which include crucial changes in banking, insurance, and the stock market. A major focus is on eliminating the parallel markets and reducing the demand for the US dollar particularly in black market dealings. These efforts are vital to aligning the central bank's official exchange rate for the dinar with the real economy, aiming to elevate its value against the dollar to a rate that truly reflects Iraq's wealth and growth prospects. The goal is to ensure that the dinar is valued just over a dollar within the country, giving it the potential for a more stable and robust international presence. One of the most intriguing parts of these reforms is the planned currency project, popularly known as deleting the zeros. This initiative aims to reduce the monetary mass by collecting large denomination notes so many of which have been hoarded by the population and in hidden reserves. By swapping out these large denomination dinar stashes and managing the country's inflationary pressures, the central bank is positioning the dinar for reinstatement onto global currency exchanges, including Forex. Unlike its current status, where it serves more as a placeholder on Forex, the new initiative aims to make the Iraqi dinar fully tradable, with buy and sell options that appeal to global investors. This could be the turning point for the Iraqi economy, not just domestically but globally as well. But here's where it gets more interesting. Experts like Mr. Saimi, who claim to have inside knowledge of Iraq's economic future, hint at even more significant changes that are being deliberately withheld from public knowledge for national security reasons. This cloak of secrecy surrounding Iraq's financial reforms has led to speculation that the country is on the verge of something big. Mr. Samey suggests that while these updates can't all be revealed, rest assured there are transformative changes on the horizon that will be beneficial to investors and Iraq's economy alike. The importance of financial regulations in this process cannot be overstated. Iraq is currently revamping its regulatory framework, which is set to attract more investments by ensuring protection for foreign capital and encouraging business ventures. These new laws are designed not only to promote economic stability but also to create a more inviting atmosphere for international businesses. Additionally, Iraq's international relations are becoming a critical factor. By strengthening ties with other nations, Iraq is building trust to another form of currency that cannot be underestimated in the world of global investments. When countries trust each other, it paves the way for more open trade agreements, and foreign direct investment becomes more fluid and expansive. Let's not forget Iraq's natural resources, particularly its vast reserves of oil and gas. These are critical assets that put Iraq in a unique position to capitalize on the global energy market. With the world's growing demand for energy, Iraq is sitting on a gold mine that could generate significant revenue, contributing to both economic growth and investor returns. 
This, combined with new laws aimed at diversifying Iraq's energy exports are particularly potential deals in natural gas are makes the country even more attractive to international businesses looking for lucrative investment opportunities. Another major point of interest is Iraq's demographic advantage. The country boasts a young, tech-savvy population eager to contribute to its growth. This youth demographic is an asset that Iraq can leverage to foster innovation in new industries. These young minds are ready to engage in sectors beyond oil and gas, bringing fresh ideas and energy to industries like technology, renewable energy, and manufacturing. Think of this as Iraq's new frontier or an untapped potential that is waiting to take off, fueled by youthful ambition and a hunger for progress. Mr. Sami's message also resonates with those market speculators who have been watching Iraq from the sidelines. While some may believe that significant changes in Iraq are still far off, Mr. Sami insists that they are much closer than they appear. It's all about recognizing opportunities before they become obvious to everyone else. This idea of foresight is essential in the world of investments, where early movers often reap the greatest rewards. Iraq's current trajectory suggests that it is on the cusp of something major or something that could shift the global economic landscape and bring newfound prosperity to those willing to take the plunge. The buzz surrounding Iraq's potential extends beyond financial circles. The country has been at the forefront of political, economic, and social reforms, making it a focal point for investors worldwide. Recent developments indicate that Iraq is working hard to stabilize its economy, which has already led to several high-profile meetings between Iraqi officials and international investors. These discussions have centered around rebuilding efforts, particularly in the oil and gas sectors, and enhancing economic growth through foreign investment. The outcomes of these meetings could lead to increased job creation, higher standards of living, and a stronger economy in Iraq, which would in turn, create new opportunities for investors. With Iraq being one of the world's largest oil producers, any news from the country is bound to have ripple effects on global oil prices. Recent rumors about potential gas deals suggest that Iraq could diversify its energy exports, making the country an even more appealing target for international investment. This diversification, combined with the upcoming September meetings, is why analysts remain optimistic about Iraq's future. The timing could not be more perfect for those looking to explore opportunities in Iraq, as the country's reform agenda continues to move forward. For investors or anyone interested in global markets, keeping a close eye on Iraq's progress is essential. The country's political and economic shifts are set to impact not just the Middle East but global markets as a whole. As Iraq's reforms continue to take shape, the possibility of lucrative investment opportunities will grow. Whether it's through trade, foreign investments, or innovations within Iraq itself, the coming years could see Iraq emerge as a major player on the global economic stage. As we close out this exploration into Iraq's potential, the key takeaway is simple, stay informed, be aware, and recognize the opportunities that are unfolding right now. By keeping an eye on trustworthy news sources, engaging in forums, and staying tuned to the latest developments, you can position yourself to take advantage of the new investment opportunities that are emerging in Iraq. The future is full of promise, and as Mr. Sami suggests, the key to success lies in timing and awareness. So, what are your thoughts on Iraq's prospects? Let's continue this conversation in the comments and explore how we can all make the most of these exciting developments.